prayers for Turkey. Hi guys, and very nice greetings from Germany. Yeah, <laughs> how are you doing, guys? I see my eyes. I'm very, very tired. My gosh, it's already 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. I cannot sleep. And yeah, I feel something is happening behind the scenes, and it must be very important. Okay. I share with you some very shocking clips about Madonna. Finally, they investigate her. And I will share with you why I see something is happening in Los Angeles. Okay? I told you so. When I have any updates, I will turn the camera on and maybe this inspires you. But now, watch these clips. Madonna is being accused of child trafficking in Africa. The Ethiopian World Federation is accusing her of adopting African children and using them for trafficking, sexual exploitation, and social experiments in Malawi. Raising Malawi is Madonna's nonprofit charity that she organized in 2006 that was said to help with extreme poverty amongst the local orphans and give them health and education. However, the EFW is claiming she only opened up this organization to host social experiments on vulnerable African children, referring to a book Madonna wrote called SEX in 1992 on one page where she explains in great detail of her making love to a teenage boy who is a virgin. EFW claims that Madonna's interest in religious imagery, bestiality, and vulgar lovemaking is what prompted her to open up this orphanage in Malawi. Madonna is aging just like a normal person, but she actually has a lot of resources to potentially reverse the effects of aging on her face, and she's doing that pretty openly. Madonna accused of child trafficking in Malawi. Pop singer Madonna is being accused of human trafficking and sexually exploiting children by a charitable organization known as the Ethiopian World Federation. According to all Africa. As stated on the Federation's website, the EWF is a civic service organization that pushes policies and advocates to change the laws that harm all black people. Madonna herself famously adopted four children from Malawi, a landlocked country located in southeastern Africa. In 2006, Madonna founded a charity called Raising Malawi, a non-profit group that seeks to support orphans and vulnerable children through health and education programs. The EWF is asking Malawian President Lazarus Chakwara to investigate Madonna's charity and receive restrict her and her associates' accessibility to Africa and to African children as a precautionary measure until a thorough investigation is done into child trafficking, sex exploitation, sexual slavery, adoption reversal, threat of coercion, fraud, deception and abuse of power or vulnerability. Okay, as I told you so, many hidden secrets are being revealed and it happens <laughs> suddenly. Why is this happening? Because the energy on earth is increasing, we simply expand our consciousness and we shine light onto the darkness. 
and slowly we understand in which system we lived. And I had an astral projection last night. And I cannot sleep because I feel something is happening again behind the scenes. Last night, the entire night, Marcel was with me too. We walked around in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, the entire night. I'm not kidding, Marcel and me. So I cannot say for sure I have always so crazy as short travels. And then I was guided to her videos, Madonna. Oh, they talk about her already. So hmm, maybe there is really more. And Marcel and me, we were walking around in Los Angeles and in Hollywood last night. And we checked the VIPs. I'm not kidding. I heard me saying in my astral body, however you want to say, are they still working for them? Or did they change? I'm not kidding. We were just walking around in Los Angeles, Hollywood. And I remember we checked many different VIPs, but I don't remember who. I just remember one man. He was a very famous actor, but I cannot remember. I can hardly remember. I cannot remember everything because as I woke up in the morning, <laughs> this again every day almost impossible for me to get up in the morning they attack us like crazy and yeah I woke up and then I had this frequency shots and I don't remember who it was but it was a very famous VIP he is an actor and I asked him very famous one but I don't remember who, but I know him. I know who, and you know him too. And I asked this actor, did you change? Or do you still work for them? I'm not kidding. And then today I was guided to Madonna. So, oh my gosh, this explains so much. And then I told you so, the white hats were very busy last weekend. And I talked about China. You must watch my previous videos. And they said they were very busy the last days. And they did something behind the scenes. It has to do with China and the USA. And see what happened. Coincidence. It's crazy, right? So I have so crazy astral projections. And so much is coming true. The White Hats told me so last weekend. We were so busy. And they attacked me and Marcel so strong. Even a black helicopter was flying around last weekend on Sunday. The water didn't work. We had no water and the black helicopter was flying around the village too. A man with black clothes was standing here in front of our house for one week ago. And then I called the Whiteheads Sunday evening and they said they attack us like crazy. We had even no water. A strange man was walking around our house, even into the neighbor's house. And then they said, oh, we were so busy. We were so busy and they already attack you when we don't watch out. And then I asked, what are you doing? And they said, China and USA. But we cannot say more. They don't tell me what's going on and I'm even not sure if it's true, guys. Maybe I'm really going totally nuts and I'm paranoid. <laughs> so please pick up what resonates. You know, we were walking around in Fudi in the year 2021. They captured us and we were walking around physically in Fudi. And I believe I'm in contact with them telepathically. I just know it does exist many different versions of tea. It's not so easy to discern. Yeah, do I talk to T in 4D? Do I talk to T in 3D? Do I talk to T in 5D? Who is who? 
There are so many different versions of him. Yeah, and I tried to talk to the highest version of him. And I know the highest version of him is located in 5D, his higher self. And this is good for us. But when the dark side dominates, he's fully Caesar. And he works with Enki. And this is not good. Really not good. But in 5D, no. This color here. Purple. And they were purple colored clothes in Fudi, the white hats, which helped us for real. They were purple colored clothes. What happens when you combine red and blue? The red pill and the blue pill. You have purple. This means 5D. Red is 4D. Blue is 3D consciousness. So this means the red pill is 4D consciousness. Purple is 5D consciousness. Peace and unity. And I talked to them last weekend, it seems like so. And then I asked them, oh, you were busy. Yes, China and USA. And then I was guided to this new, oh shit, the China satellite, oh my gosh maybe i'm in contact with them for real so i over and over ask myself myself i'm going totally nuts right this is not true in 4d i tell you as we were walking around physically in 4d i believe the same i'm in contact with them it, it was like we have a phone call this way and i over and over ask myself myself this is not true right I'm going totally nuts. I'm going crazy. I really must take my pills. Maybe I must take the blue or the red pill myself. <laughs> Maybe it's helping. <laughs> he said, no, you're really in contact with them. Even when it's so crazy. And so out of space, but it feels true. So this cannot be right. Am I in contact with them for real? And I really don't understand. <laughs> So please pick up what resonates. I don't want to be worshipped as a hero, as a savior or whatever. And I'm an asshole myself. <laughs> you can call me asshole as well. <laughs> this is 5D consciousness, guys, really. You can call yourself asshole and it's not hurting you. So yes, I know I'm an asshole. I'm a dumbass. I'm a liar. I'm a faker. I'm a reptile. I'm a Draco. I'm everything. I'm everything and nothing. This is 5D. You find peace with the light and with the dark side. Because you are simply both. <coughs> okay, but please pick up what resonates. And last night, as mentioned, we were walking around in Los Angeles with our astral bodies. And we checked what's going on with the VIPs there. And then, as mentioned, I talked to an actor. It was a male actor. And I asked him, do you still work for them? Or did you change? I cannot remember what he said. Okay, Marcel was with me. The twin flames were walking around in 4D again. And I can remember we searched up for a home. <laughs> <laughs> because we still live in this chaos here. Do you see this? What is this, please? I see it many times in Astro Plane. And then today, and this was creepy, a man was here again. A foreign man. The crazy thing is, I was walking around in a room in the first floor. And this man arrived. He was petite and he wore a blue color jacket. Blue! <laughs> he had blue eyes, blonde short hair. He wore jeans and a blue color jacket. And he went straight to the house. And he really stared through the window. It's, it's no joke, guys. We asked the host, do you know him? No. Who? And honestly, I never saw this guy. And as he saw that I see him, he really ran away. 
because I looked out of the window, he this way, and then he ran away, and I never saw this guy. Maybe it was a neighbor, but even if this was a neighbor, what the fuck? He really stared into the window. There was, this is the window, this was his face. This way in, he stared directly into our house, through the window, through the room I was staying in. And then I felt, what's going on? And then I looked at him, and he ran away. I'm not kidding. A soul sister witnessed it, because Marcel was in a phone call with a soul sister. And she witnessed it, how I told Marcel, Marcel, there was a crazy man in front of our window, and he really stared into our room. And our soul sister witnessed it. One week later. Last weekend already. And today again. Even it is a neighbor from the village. What the heck? Directly into the house. So what is going on with the people? <laughs> I cannot say for sure what it is. Even if these are true people, it's controlled by AI. It's like I always see, oh, they are controlled by AI. Oh, AI is programming them. Oh, AI gave them an order again. Oh, AI is telling them they must behave this way. Because we were walking around in 4D and we spent there many, many months. And I believe to know how AI is controlling people. Basically, it's over and over AI. So, and even if it is a true person and a neighbor from the village, what is he doing exactly? So, the host doesn't know who it is. Directly hear this. And he stepped into the room. And I was looking at him, so, what are you doing? And he ran away. Even if this is so, it is AI. When these are true people and they have nothing in common with the DS. <laughs> okay, AI is doing this. Crazy, right? Because most people are stuck in their heads. And when you're just stuck in your head, they can get access to you. Don't underestimate it. And this is the key. The purple pill. Don't choose a side. Just stay here in your heart space. Your heart is the strongest shield. And the more you stay in your heart, the more you will see it. So, what the fuck? So this makes even no sense. How many people behave, it really makes no sense. You see, it's so clear now. So, many times I really see something else is working through them. I mean, I see it so clearly now. Because we escaped 4D and we escaped the AI phantom. So, and we saw how it works. And I see it so clear now when AI works through the people. So, in this guy today, whoever it was, completely AI. <laughs> he was controlled by AI. Yeah, my soul sister witnessed it. Okay, and last night I had this crazy astro travel to Los Angeles. So, oh my gosh, I have no idea what our souls are doing, Marcel and me. We are so stupid. What are we doing? We're just walking around in 4D and 5D, whatever, and we check um, out if they still work for the NAA. <laughs> These are the newest updates. There is something else happening. And it seems like it has to do with Hollywood, with Los Angeles now. And so many hidden secrets are being exposed, you will see. It's like, boosh, boom, like mushrooms. Boosh, 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 boosh. People see them now. If they want so, you can see them. Yes, and we must be honest. We must be honest. So shit, I listen to her songs too. Shit, it fucking hurts to tell the people, ooh, I work as a starseed. And I listen to Madonna's music too, and she sacrificed. Yeah, and I listen to her music too. Oh, it simply hurts to be honest. Yes, I'm honest with you, I listen to her songs too. 
When I was a young adult, my favorite song was Frozen. Because you feel shame and guilt to see shit, I was wrong. Shit, I was wrong. Oh, fuck. I got deceived myself and I believed them. Shit. Shit. Now they are getting exposed and I still listen to their songs. Shit. I bought their album. Shit. This is the new age. That we still do this and put on a mask. We are so afraid to be honest and to tell the people, hey, sorry, I'm in this process myself. Sorry, I cannot see through the AI phantom for 100%. Shit. I also believe their deceptions. I'm in the same boat. Even when I do readings, starseed readings, I'm still in training. Everyone is in training. We are a pupil and a teacher at the same time. I'm your ascended master and I'm your spiritual guru and you must believe me for 100% and just give your power away. Don't believe in yourself. This is the old past. This is the old consciousness. So even the Arcturians are still in training. We are a pupil and a teacher at the same time, always. Even when you go back to Source Creator, you are still in training. So we must stay humble. No one knows the truth to 100%. That's what I always tell you. Please just pick up what resonates and leave the rest. Maybe I'm wrong. But I know that people prefer the old marketing. We believe in an expert, in an ET channeler, and we simply give our power away. But our team is helping us. They want to motivate you to stand up yourself. Our team is so proud of us. Many of them they never had a physical experience here. And they see us as badasses. <laughs> so, wow, you're so brave. You're still here. You're walking around here in 3D. Wow, you're so brave. They are proud of us. And these are not our saviors and heroes. It is us. They are us. You are them. We are all. We are nothing. 5D consciousness. Yes. And when it means to be honest. To say yes. I listen to her songs too. Frozen was my favorite song of her. Yeah, I listen to her too. Shit, I was wrong. Shit, I did ISIS channelings before I was gone in 4D. Shit, but no one knows the truth to 100%. But we feel the truth. This is what matters. We feel the truth here. And the more you stay heart-centered, the more you break free from the AI. You will break free from the AI phantom. Your heart is the strongest shield. Yeshua ben Joseph did it in the same way. He was centered in his heart. Mary Magdalene too, they were also heart centered. And we witnessed it ourselves. We were so much faster to the AI. When we trusted our intuition, our heart, we were so much faster. And the AI really needed time to follow us, to hunt us again. It's your heart, 5D, purple. It's your heart. And you are in peace with your dark side and with your light side. And what matters is your action. How do you act? What is your true intent? You will see all your channelers, all your gurus are just humans. They were wrong so many times, you will see it will crumble. It has already begun. With VIPs, with the fashion industry, so much more will be exposed. Last stage is the spiritual community. When this is true what I saw in the year 2021 as we were walking around in 4D, even the new age spirituality will be exposed. Because they will never choose you. They are not interested in to change. And you are interested in to change when these are narcissists or psychopaths. You don't have to heal yourself over and over again. Actually, they need healing. They need support. They need guidance. They need help. 
but they will never ask for help. They will always tell you, you are the problem. You are the black sheep because you are not function. Because you don't support them any longer, you just place a boundary. And then they are getting very mad when you say no. And they call you selfish because you just said one time no. And then you believe they are right, maybe I'm really selfish. And then you work on yourself again, you as an empath, as a starseed. You do over and over and over energy healing onto you. But actually they need help because they did this to you. So you are normal. They need help. It's completely the other way around. This is the new age. That you believe, oh, they just behave this way because I'm not in peace with myself. But we simply ignore um, these are psychopaths. It's really an issue in their brain. They really can have no empathy. They, they don't feel. They will never say sorry. Even when you explain to them everything. They don't feel it. So and you believe it's simply your fault. You over and over do energy healing onto you. But actually they need help. But they will never ask for help. Because they always let you believe you need help. It's not my problem. It's always you. So this is the new age. And then we tell each other it's simply your karma. You must release your karma with them. No. When they never choose you. When they treat you with so much disrespect and you send them over and over your prayers and your love, they will not change, guys. They can hardly change. So, and it doesn't mean that you have a blockage or that you're not in peace with them. No, you just place a boundary. You are allowed to speak because you are beautiful and worthy right now. All your scars, they make you beautiful. All your scars are needed. It's your story. And people want to hear your story. And don't always act like, oh, we put on a mask and there are no scars, no wounds. But every scar tells a story. And people want to know your story. I see it would change in future. People are more interested in authentic people in future. I already see it. When I open Instagram or TikTok, I see it. Many young people prefer authentic people now on social media. And not this, uh -uh, this will not work. Many young people really want to see authentic people now. It's really what I see. And it already begins. This is also 5D consciousness. We just share our authentic self. I don't care. You have more and more this I don't care consciousness. So I don't care if people understand my message or not. I don't care. I simply do what I love. I don't care. When you paint, you just stay in this one moment. And you don't stay focused on the reactions. Oh, will they like my painting? Will they like my drawing? How they will react? Uh-uh. You just do what you love. This is the energy of a child. The children know. This is not selfish. It's normal. This is us. We are very positive people. We are positive, optimistic. We have so much power and so much love in our hearts. We are so curious. This is us. And not that we are depressed that we feel beyond exhausted, tired, confused. This is not us. We are very positive, happy. Remember your childhood. Are you still childlike or not? And I see people want to watch and follow authentic people. The old system crumbles and dies. And I see, yes, the false light will be exposed too. I feel it is the last stage. Because we have so many illusions before. We have the system, we have the government, we have the VIPs, we have Hollywood and so on. So this must crumble all. And then we talk about the spiritual community. 
and I don't know, maybe the people must go through the Antichristic spiritual awakening first, or they would choose the Christ spiritual awakening first. The Antichristic spiritual awakening is everything we know from the New Age. In other words, it's a program. It's a software they installed to confuse us, truthers and starseeds. It's over and over the same cycle, right? Actually, your life doesn't change. And you over and over tell yourself, oh, you must release your karma. And they inverted and twisted everything around and linked us, women, to the moon. But actually, we were connected to the sun. We women were connected to the sun. In Germany, and I over and over got this question when I was little, why do we call the sun female in German? In German, the sun is female and the moon is male. It's the other way around. But when you listen to Spanish or to Italian language, for them the moon is female and the sun is male. And in Germany, the sun is female and the moon is male. And I was always thinking about it. So, huh? Why is it in German twisted around? And now I understand why, because we do it right. We call the sun the Sonne. The Sonne is female. The Mond is male. The word the and der. The is female and der, der is male. German is very complicated. <laughs> German grammar is very complicated. It makes no sense. <coughs> By the way, <laughs> many times it really makes no sense. So, yeah, this is the background story. And I know these are all the New Age teachings that even we women believe we must do full moon and new moon rituals. But actually, in the ancient times, no. So as they hijacked into our DNA and mixed us with the animal DNA, it happened. But we women, we never worked with the moon. And our cycle is linked to the moon. And I was shocked to see this. So, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. How crazy is this please? So this means when you have your spiritual awakening, it's not the end. It's the Antichristic spiritual awakening. This is all the Antichrist. Oh my gosh. And the Christic spiritual awakening simply means you stay here in your heart space. You find peace with the dark and the light side. You understand it was never your fault. It was no one's fault. You get out of the shame and guilt program to believe you are a sinner. You give your power away to a savior, you give your power away to a lord, you give your power away to the Galactic Federation of Lies. So you don't give your power away any longer. You simply know it is you, because Source Creator lives in you. And Source Creator wants to see you rising because you are Source Creator. It's inside of us. No gender. Source Creator has no gender. Source Creator is female and male. It's an energy, a consciousness, if you will. So we have these two sides within us, but now we have a gender because we have a physical experience. We are humans and I'm a woman. I have my period every month. I'm on my cycle every month. This means I'm a woman. <laughs> I have a womb. <laughs> I'm a woman. But I have these two energies within me. I can rebalance it. The more you rebalance it, the more you find peace. I try to explain to you how I see life now as we escaped 4D. I see so clear now if I trusted my heart or not. If they hijacked into my subconscious mind or not. I feel it so clear. And do you know how I recognize it? At one hand, when I wake up in the morning, almost every morning, this. Okay. 
I know they try to see my dreams. They control my dreams. They try it. They hijack into my astral travels. And they simply try to decode my thoughts. I know. So they send me thoughts. And they send me affirmations during night. Okay. I know I'm not on my own path any longer when my life is chaos. And it's like I cannot get out. It really looks like it's a cage, like the screen here. You are in a box because this is full D. You stay in a box because 5D is no box any longer. I share this with you what 5D is. It's this. It's a cycle. 5D is a cycle. Oh gosh, it reminds me now of Interstellar again, when you know the black hole, the ring. <laughs> this is 5D. It's a ring. Okay. So, and 4D is the box. Hmm. And I see it very clear. When they attacked me again, it feels like I'm staying in a cage and nothing works. Nothing works. I try to leave the house. It's not working. I try to take a shower. It's not working. They simply turned the water off. Then something happens with the host again. Um, I want to leave and then uh, the bus had a delay. I want to take the bus, but I cannot take the bus. For example, I want to take my bicycle but I cannot take my bicycle because now it rains. Then I forget my umbrella with me. It's like so much chaos. It's like, what the fuck? I just want to leave the house and I want to spend time outdoors. It's like they almost don't allow me to leave the house. It's no joke. So it's just chaos. Or Marcel receives a call and he cannot leave the house. <laughs> so, and when I tune into the energy, it feels like, okay, now they installed a cube again. It's a cube. But when we succeed, when we travel, when we are outdoors, I feel this energy here. So it's like, okay, now we broke free and now we flow again like water. We work with the feminine Christ again. And then everything works out. It's so easy. So when you stay heart center, it's so easy. It's not always complicated, but when they hijack you, so when they attack your weakness, because this is what they do, they over and over attack your weakness. So they are very good in scanning your weakness. And when they see, oh, this is your weakness, this is a problem you have, okay, so then they trigger you there and they attack you there. And they spend so much time in attacking your weakness, just with the goal to lower your frequency and that you join their box again. <laughs> Because they know when you break free from the box, you will be this and you simply flow like water. Okay, and you go back to 5D. Minimum. <laughs> easy, right? It sounds easy. But it's not so easy because we are so afraid to trust our heart. So this old system simply led us away from our heart. And now we have so much problems to trust our heart. We have no idea what our heart really says. Okay? This is the global process. And you will see it's no one's fault. No shame and no guilt. You don't have to release your karma first to go home. No. You're always allowed to go home. Source Creator loves us all. Source Creator is unconditional love. And I know the false light will be exposed too. And it happens automatically. It happens because it happens. And people will see through it. I know it. It will happen. But I feel it's the last domino stone. And the false light spiritual community is the last domino. I saw. The last. It's very exciting. When this is true, what I saw about the white hats from 5D, they know. They know because they said, be careful what you share with your community because everything will be exposed and the people will see them. All channelers which work for the NAA, they will be exposed, they said. 
Why? Because people see through them. They see something is off. Because we simply expand our consciousness and they realize themselves too. The Galactic Federation of Light, sorry guys, is a psyop. You can call them the Galactic Federation of Lies. Because these were those which captured us. <laughs> the Galactic Federation of Lies were those which kidnapped us up to 4D. And they tried to kill me in Marcel, guys. That's why I cannot defend them. Because I know they all merged with their AI. AI is their god. So, and I believe to know how it works. And AI is also controlling the DS. But the DS still believes, yeah, we control AI. We can control AI. No. Ah, 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 ah. No. They cannot. Even when they believe so, they cannot. AI is controlling them. And AI is using them as a weapon. So they are all slaves. Even when they believe so, they are so powerful with their AI. No. AI gives a damn about them. When they don't work for AI, AI is destroying them. They know. But when you sold your soul one time to the NAA, it's almost impossible to get out. It was almost impossible. Yeah, and the NAA is the Galactic Federation of Lies. <laughs> and they captured us. Just saying. And it will be all exposed. Please, open your heart. Dive into the question, is this information really touching you? Maybe it sounds good here, yeah? Because they are very good in talking to your head. They are very good here. But is this information really touching you? When I tell you it was Ashtar, Enki, because it's the same deity, if you will, as we escaped for the do you know what they did? Marcel and me, we tried to organize a move. We were too weak and a few people helped us. And someone helped us. He had a cell phone with him. So, and we took the cars because this flat was located in Saxony, in Germany. We had a flat in Saxony and they helped us. And one of them had a cell phone and he used the navigation system because they had no idea where our flat was. And then I received messages by them. By Ashtar. Here. Push. Because they already installed it here. Above my head. And do you know what happened? The cell phone by my friend went totally nuts during I received the message. The navigation system didn't work. An app always plopped up. Boom! Always. Boom! It plopped up and it closed. Boom! It plopped up. Boom! And it closed. So my friend had no idea. My friend made jokes. He said, what's going on with my phone? <laughs> you know? I kick it out of the window! <laughs> and he just laughed. Maybe he felt it intuitive, I cannot say for sure. <laughs> it was so crazy. Because meanwhile, as this happened with the phone, I received really a message by Ashtar. By Enki. I heard his voice. Do you know what he said? I'm very surprised that you are still alive. You are very brave to come back. And this was Ashtar, Enki. Meanwhile, his phone went totally nuts. And it was an app he never uses. And he said, what the fuck? Why is the app always opening? I don't use this app. So what is this, please? So, and then I asked my friend, um, is this happening to your phone 
many times. No, I never had problems with my phone. It's the first time, so what's going on with my phone? Meanwhile, I received messages by Ashtar and the Galactic Federation of Lies. And I just had to watch. So I could give my friend the answer, but he will believe this, isn't it? <laughs> they really said, we are surprised to see you still alive. You're very brave to come back. Yes, this is Enki. <laughs> The Galactic Federation. Just saying, guys. Many times. So many times. I saw it. And then my friend, he just laughed. <laughs> and do you know what he said in German? He said, Ey, scheiß Opfer Handy, ey, schmeiß das Teil raus aus dem Fenster, Mann. <laughs> in German. He said, Ey, scheiß Opfer Handy, ey, ich kauf kein Samsung mehr. <laughs> And I already laughed almost, but my head hurt like crazy because I had this tss 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 here. Hmm. It's no joke. Do you know what Enki said? Because my friend listened to techno very loud. <laughs> very, very loud. And do you know what they said? Oh, your friend listens to very good music. We like techno. What the f Really, you like techno? Yes. It symbolizes our frequency. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Because they work with their codes. Many times. Shit. This is really what he said, Enki. I'm not kidding. It's Ashtar. He said uh, he listens to very good music. We like techno. And do you know the title of the song? Let There Be Dark. This is the song he listened to. Do you see even the cover? That's the Black Cube song. <laughs> <laughs> they work over and over with these codes. Yeah, it's Saturn, the Black Cube song, Nibiru. I see it already. <laughs> and he really listened to the song Let There Be Dark. And Ashto says, this song is good. <laughs> <laughs> he listened to the song. Meanwhile, his phone went crazy and he just laughed. So I kicked the phone out of the window. <laughs> I never will buy Samsung, <laughs> he said. The Galactic Federation of Lies talks to me, Enki Ashto. <laughs> and he says, hey, I like the song. <laughs> What do you say? It is crazy, right? It's like, hey, she is really paranoia. <laughs> she must take her pills. But we witnessed it so many times now. And even Marcel was with me in the car. And do you know Marcel's reaction? <laughs> Marcel. And I was telling him telepathically, aha. Uh -huh. So you believe you are very brave to come back? Yes, we believe you are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? Yeah, call me paranoia. <laughs> and now so much is happening. So much is plopping up. But I tell you, there are so many illusions. And the last illusion is the spirit community, you will see. I already told myself I will laugh so hard. And I will celebrate <laughs> when all these lies are getting exposed. <laughs> And I talk about the false light too, because you will see sooner or later, it makes no sense. Because the messages they share, it sounds very good. And many of their predictions are coming true. And then you believe it more because it becomes true. But they don't tell you why it becomes true. Why? Because of their AI. Because they try to control all people with their frequencies, with their technology, with their AI. And because most people are just stuck in here and they have problems to feel their hearts. It was so easy to manipulate the people. It was a very funny game. That's why so much is coming true when you channel the Galactic Federation of Lies and Ashtar Shirin. 
And Ashta Sheeran told me so. I'm very surprised you are still alive. Please, guys. Is this for real? Our team? Is your team behaving this way? My team is not talking to me this way. Even not the white hats are talking this way. It's no joke. Even they don't. So when it's true what I see, the highest versions of them are located in 5D. But it does exist also the white hats located in 4D. <laughs> And they are not so kind because they try to separate Marcel and me too. And T from 4D too. <laughs> they all try to separate us. But in 5D, no. So then I try to be in contact with 5D. And they are not against us. <laughs> and they even not against Marcel. So, and they said China and USA last weekend. See what happened. Now we had an astral projection to Los Angeles and to Hollywood. Let's see what I will see because I will go offline now. It's already 4 a.m. <laughs> I cannot sleep for real, okay? I'm a nut all. So I'm so crazy. Yeah, so we will see what happens. Maybe I have a very crazy astral projection. Yes. A few hours later, I do an experiment and I <laughs> use. The light's now a little bit different. Yes. Um, updates. It was crazy. Last night was crazy. They hunted us down like crazy. In the astral plane. Many black helicopters hunted us. Black cars. Black FBI agents. Agent Smith. And they hunted me, Marcel, down the entire morning, if you will. Because I went into sleep at 4 a.m. And yeah, it was crazy. It was very crazy. So there is so much more happening behind the scenes. So I cannot say for sure. But we do something they don't like. I'm pretty sure. And I feel they try to close the 5D gate. Yes, it must be true. It has already begun as I saw it that the gate is open. The first night was awful. Then I heard the message from our team. They cannot close it again this time. It will remain open because they already opened the fifth dimension over and over and over again. Over and over and over they already opened the gate for us. But they simply closed it again. Over and over and over. When the gate to the fifth dimension was open, they closed it again. And now it's open again and they go totally nuts. They don't want that the energy from the central sun is streaming down. And it already has begun as I had this vision on the portal too too. And last night was so crazy. So they surrounded us with their black helicopters, with their black cars, with their FBI agents. It was crazy. It's really like you watch Matrix. When you know the Matrix movies, it's almost the same. Almost, because when you watch the Matrix movies, when Neo and Trinity and Morpheus walking around inside the Matrix, it is 4D. So you over and over see 4D in movies. You see over and over what's happening in 4D. And when you watch the Matrix movies, this is how 4D vibrates. Yeah, Agent Smith is also there. So every time when you had an astro travel, you were just able to see 4D. You just had a meetup with Agent Smith or with their Matrix. But you never saw beyond. And this was for real a problem. So because the gate is open to the fifth dimension, now you can do astral projections up to 5D, but they really go totally nuts. Because it was almost impossible to jump through the Earth Matrix and to see 5D Earth. 5D Tower Earth. They don't want us to see, because when people see... There are many dimensions and what happens beyond 4D and beyond 3D, they don't want us to see. Because people will reclaim their power and they will not believe them any longer. And Marcel also checked if the information is true with the motorcycles and with these cars. I don't know the English word for these races. When you know Michael Schumacher, you know Michael Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton. Sebastian Vettel, you know, these are all Germans. So I talk about these races. Marcel told me today he really checked if it's true 
that they want to work with electricity more and with e-cars in future and he said yes there are a few companies like Ford yeah they really want to switch to electronic cars imagine this and I had this vision for a few months ago and Elon Musk asked me in the astral plane imagine this if this is better technology when we use electronic motorcycles, electronic cars and electronic bicycles and everything is just based on solar technology. He really asked me. And Marcel did some research and then he figured out, yes, Ford from Formel 1, they really want to switch to electronic cars. Do you see this? I have no idea what I see and if it's true. I mean, there must be a reason why Marcel and me were captured to 4D physically and we survived very close. So I really cannot say for sure why and how. Marcel over and over tells me, I see it, it's true. So because I'm always thinking about it, hey, it is so out of space, it is so crazy. I mean, come on, you tell the people you had a meetup with Elon and 4D. And he asked me and now it becomes true and I have this so many times guys I see something they are planning something and it becomes true so and Marcel over and over tells me you really are in contact with them you're even in contact with the white hats and they're always questioning so am I stupid am I stupid I must be stupid Hey, I must take my pills. I need a psychologist. I'm completely paranoid. But it becomes true. <laughs> Most of this, what I see, becomes true. And this is really crazy. Okay? So, and I know they do something behind the scenes. And I try to be in contact with the whiteheads from 5D. Please keep in your mind. This is us in the future. So, and it doesn't mean... When you are in contact with fifth dimensional beings, that they are the same in 3D and in 4D. This is all dual consciousness, right? That we say, you are just light or you are just dark. Like my scarf, do you see? White and black. Black and white. So we believe it's, it's just one side. But what if you are both? So and this is 5D consciousness. You simply rebalance the light and the dark within you. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that they are the same in 3D and in 4D when they in 5D are different. But maybe we will transform into them. Because this is us in the future. And even when you see the people located in 4D, you see the future too. But 4D is very, very close to us. There's almost no difference, the energy between 3D and 4D Earth. 5D is the gate to break free and you enter the free matrix, if you will. I call it the free matrix, the matrix of freedom. But it is still a matrix and they don't allow you to see more. Imagine what happens when you want to go back to Source Creator back to 80, 90, 10 D and beyond. Imagine. <laughs> it was completely out of control. And AI took over control, guys. And it really, it hurts me so much to see that so many people in the spiritual community are using these AI apps, really. I, I believed I'm going totally crazy. I mean, the intent is what matters. But there was a person, he really used AI to figure out how Jesus looked. And I saw it in 4D. These NPCs just copied us. And they talked about our thoughts. And because we were so hungry, they over and over talked about food. And about raw weekend dishes. And recipes. And we were so hungry. So they just copied us. All beings which have a soul, AI is not creative and it's now evolutionary technology. But the Galactic Federation of Lies tried to let you disbelieve. And I saw one possible 
vision of the future. Akian Kramarik already painted him. And I feel Akian Kramarik was very connected to Yeshua. And she was a child and she had visions of him. She was a child and she painted him so beautifully. And she received visions. She saw him. So this means we believe AI more than our star seeds. Because Akian is a star seed too. And his purpose to create us. Purpose that connects us. Purpose that pulls us. That guides us. That drives us. It is purpose that defines us. Purpose that binds us. We are here because of the creation of this Jesus Christ came down from the cross, punished his persecutors and those who did not believe in him. After 40 hours of painting, I couldn't move a finger. 40 hours felt like 40 years. There was still so much left to paint, but I was too drained to go on, and I had to stop. We shipped the original to one art agent for an exhibition, but he decided to steal the portrait. Unexpectedly, Jesus became a hostage. The painting was later sold for virtually nothing. I was never able to see my original Prince of Peace again. Only the photographs and reproductions. Outside of my family circle, no one seemed to care about my art. Some even suggested burning all my paintings and writings. On Christmas Eve, I woke up from a nightmare that my portrait got completely destroyed. I rushed to my studio and what I noticed alarmed me. The shadow side was lifeless. It was as if there was a mysterious veil covering half of the face, stopping me from painting any further. No matter how much I tried removing the veil or painting over it, I just couldn't do it. is copying us and the dark ones too the NAA toxic people behave this way they're not creative they have not the creator power so they copy us when you were in a relationship with a narcissist you know how it works they simply copy you and twist everything around and let you believe it's your fault I must behave this way because you are wrong isn't it and this is what AI does so you give your information away for free. I mean, they cannot understand the source code. Don't worry, but they try it. They try to understand the source code. And you know Yeshua ben Joseph saw through all illusions. Because it's him. And these illustrations AI created, he wore a cross in his hand. And people really asked for Mary Magdalene. Please ask AI to create Mary Magdalene. And yes, AI is a tracking system and AI is copying us. All beings which have a soul, they all stalk us. Because they try to understand the code from source, from source creator. Because they want to go up with the AI back to source creator. 
back to heaven, back to the Sophianic plane. It almost killed me and Marcel. What must happen? Even other starseeds were in horrible trouble and they almost died too, not just me and Marcel. They were walking around in the AI Phantom 2021 and they almost died. And I don't believe we can use it for lighter purposes. I'm sorry, but it's a highly destructive technology because it just copies source creator, it creates own codes, its own matrix, and it's directed against the feminine Christ and against life. And through this AI, see what we do with our mother. It is AI which is doing this to soak out life from a planet and gives nothing back in return. It's AI. It's the consciousness of the NAA and the technology vibrates in their consciousness. It always was. When you create a technology out from love and from unity, technology has the same vibration. So this means this is technology which vibrates in love and in peace. But when you are disconnected from source creator, so you create technology which is also disconnected from source creator. Technology always mirrored us and not the other way around. Yesha is completely the opposite of AI. He never worked with AI. He never worked with their simulation, with their illusions, never. Especially Yeshua Ben Joseph, never. Mary Magdalene, never. They attacked Mary like crazy because they always try to deceive women. Strong, they attack women because they know our weakness. And we search up for the Divine Father. And they know. And that's why Enki attacks us women so much. That we fall for them. That we channel them. Okay? Especially Yeshub and Joseph. He saw through their illusions. The gate to the fifth dimension is not open. It is open. So dive into your heart space. And you will feel their energy. The energy from Source Creator from the Divine Father, from the Divine Mother, from the Divine Child. This is the last illusion, the last battle. What happens now to the VIPs, to the government, this is just the beginning. The true warfare is the AI and the spiritual community. And this is the last domino. You see, it's a long way. I know we got it this time, but it will be close and we will be shocked. So, and I hope for real the Whiteheads from 5D are helping us for real. They are my last hope, I tell you. Because I know they know. They see through it. They know what AI is. Okay. Take care.